Electric cars are quickly becoming the new exciting thing for the entire car industry. Of course, Tesla is at the forefront because they're making more electric cars than any other brand, and they have pushed the industry in the direction of electrification. Many see Tesla as a startup that will be crushed by the competition once it arrives, though. So far, that hasn't happened, but many cars are coming to market in the next few years. Crushing Tesla might not be what happens, but we are seeing a lot of great electric alternatives to a Tesla coming out. Today, we're going to talk about the top nine EVs that are available or coming soon. They're Tesla competitors, but they're also different, and many of them are providing some great features. So let's get into it, and a special thanks to Displate for sponsoring this video. As a quick review for comparison throughout this video, here is Tesla's quote, more affordable vehicle lineup. We won't be comparing many of these cars to the Model S or X since those start at $100,000. They currently sell the Model 3 starting at $46,990 for a 272 mile EPA range and 5.8 seconds zero to 60. The long range model gets 358 miles EPA at zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds and it sells for $55,990. The performance model is faster and more expensive the Model Y is a crossover SUV with a 330-mile EPA range, a 0-60 to 60 in 4.8 seconds, and starts at $62,990. The performance model is faster as well. The Model Y also has an option to seat 7, but that third row is very, very small. As you'll notice with all the EVs we talk about, a 330-mile EPA range for the Model Y actually beats everyone. But in the real world, it's important to keep in mind that you won't really achieve the EPA's estimate on any of these cars. Many factors come into play, and Tesla Teslas typically see around a 12% decrease in testing from inside EVs. Any EV will typically underperform the EPA's estimates in the real world. Pricing will be a huge factor for these EVs, along with federal EV incentives, so that's also important to notice. While I'm a big fan of Teslas, some companies are offering EVs that with a federal incentive can end up costing under $40,000, whereas the Model Y today starts at $63,000 with no incentives available. GM and Tesla are currently excluded from the US federal tax incentive of $7,500. First up is the first true EV in years from this top brand, the Toyota BZ4X. The BZ4X is the first in what Toyota is calling their Beyond Zero line. As we're seeing with most electric vehicles announced by large brands, it's an SUV. Most brands are making a vehicle in the crossover SUV or SUV space since those seem to be the most popular. The 2023 BZ4X is, quote, coming to dealerships this spring with an EPA estimated range rating of up to 200 52 miles for XLE front wheel drive models based on EPA's testing procedure standards. The 2023 Toyota BZ4X will have a starting MSRP of $42,000. According to the EPA, the average estimated fuel cost savings over five years for the 2023 BZ4X XLE front wheel drive compared to the average new vehicle is up to $5,000. The interior is very standard for a Toyota and features a rather large infotainment screen with many buttons. For size, it's actually 3.7 7 inches longer than a RAV4, a bit lower than a RAV4, and 0.2 inches wider. The top range of 252 miles definitely leaves some to be desired, especially when Tesla offers 330, but the price point of $42,000 is what will draw many to this car. For a bit more than the base model is the limited edition for $46,700. XLE all-wheel drive has an EPA range of 228 miles and comes in at $44,080, with the limited edition of that coming in at $48,780. Keep in mind, that these are the prices before they go through a dealer. Toyota says this will be coming for real in the spring of this year, which is great to see. What remains to be seen with most of these cars, though, is if dealers will mark them up and if they are truly available at scale for customers to take delivery of. Performance and range aren't big draws for the BZ4X, but function, reliability from Toyota, and the price under $50,000 will definitely be a draw. Additionally, if you receive the $7,500 tax credit, your price could end up under $40,000. Toyota is also expected to bring out the Lexus RZ sometime in 2022 or 2023 built on the same platform, and Subaru is supposed to introduce the Solterra built on the same platform as well. Pricing and ranges for those has yet to be officially announced, but they should be about the same or less depending on added capabilities. Next up is a car that's already on the market, and we'll talk about very quickly since it's pretty well known by now, the Ford Mustang Mach-E. The Mustang Mach-E is a very capable EV made by Ford. Again, it's in the crossover SUV shape, which makes the Mustang name a bit of an odd choice, 
but performance definitely delivers. Official pricing for the Mach-E starts at $43,895 for a 247 mile EPA range and zero to 60 in 5.2 seconds. That model is also rear wheel drive. The longest range model is also rear wheel drive, starts at $52,450, gets a 314 mile EPA range and zero to 60 in 4.8 seconds if you add all wheel drive. GT is the most expensive but brings that zero to 60 up to 3.5 seconds, matching the performance Model Y. Interestingly, each model says not available for order on their website, so you have to check limited dealer availability for this car. That's likely because it's very popular and Ford isn't scaling it up as fast as they need to. That's a pattern we may see over the coming years with a lot of these EVs. Even though many exist and are in customers' hands, having one readily available to buy isn't common due to customer demand. In any case, the interior of the Mach-E also has many buttons and then relies on the large vertical touchscreen with physical dial for many controls. The most exciting vehicle Ford is planning though is the F-150 Lightning. This truck is expected to truly launch on April 26th. Again, scaling it to overall availability is a different story, but deliveries should begin on April 26th. The cheapest model starts right under $40,000 and gets a range of 230 miles EPA. The more expensive models offer ranges up to 320 miles, which is incredibly impressive for a vehicle its size. It has an incredibly large front trunk, a big advantage over a standard F-150, and it features a similar interior to the Mach-E with a large large vertical touchscreen in the center of the dash controlling many on-screen features. The pre-order queue is long for this truck, so it will likely be quite a while before you can go and grab one at a dealer, but it's exciting to see. Next up is a car that's available today, the Hyundai Ioniq 5. The Ioniq 5 is technically an SUV, but if anything, it's a larger hatchback. It has a lot of space and function, but it's not the same as what an SUV offers. Still, it's a great car with many great reviews and an impressive range. Across the board, for all specs of the Ioniq 5 currently available, it gets a 303 mile range for rear wheel drive. That range drops to 256 miles EPA if you get all wheel drive. It starts at $43,650 for the base model SE, includes a wide variety of tech features like CarPlay, has two 12.3 inch touchscreens and more. Zero to 60 is anywhere from 7.4 seconds up to 5.2 seconds, depending on if you get rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. So again, this car is offering a solid electric option at a more reasonable price. It isn't quite offering insane performance or an incredible range since the 303 mile range comes with rear wheel drive only and the 5.2 second zero to 60 comes with all wheel drive. It's still a great looking EV and seeing them out on the road is very exciting. Definitely worth checking out and it's another option you could get for under $40,000 with the right dealer and tax credit. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Displate. Displate is an art marketplace that will plant one tree for every poster they sell. Their high quality metal printed posters are designed to capture your unique passions and they have millions of designs available on their website from cars, gaming, and movies to anime with official licensed designs from Bethesda, Star Wars, Netflix, and more. Once you get your posters, they're super easy to mount with the included kit. You just start with a clean surface, place the protective leaf where you want to put your poster and stick the magnet on the leaf. The poster clings to the magnet and is completely adjustable. They're great for collectors because you can arrange your posters any way you want to in seconds. Click the link in the description below to save 27% on up to two displays or 34% on three or more for a limited time. Check it out. Now let's jump to another brand that is actually the same, Kia. The Kia EV6 is built on the same platform as the Ioniq 5 and features a lot of similarities in the interior as well. From the outside, however, the cars look quite different. The EV6 starts at $40,900 MSRP, but has a number of configurations and upgrades available. They currently list five configurations from $40,900 up to $55,900. For now, it's tough to find the base model available to purchase anywhere, but it should hopefully be available soon. They offer two battery sizes, the smaller of which gets a 232 mile range, and the larger of which gets a 310 mile EPA range on the rear wheel drive versions of this car. The higher end GT line model gets a zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds, and they have plans for a 576 horsepower GT model with a 3.5 second zero to 60, again matching the performance model Y. While it's a very different look and shape compared to the Ionic 5, many features are the same, and it's again a choice between performance or range when configuring an EV6. Based on the current configurations, a standard range 232 mile rear wheel drive EV6 could get under $40,000 with a good dealer and a tax credit, but the longer range 310 mile version would end up right at or above $40,000 with the tax credit and fees. This is just the first of many full-fledged EVs Kia has in the works though, so it's great to see it come to market. 
In the future, they are planning what you may have anticipated, the EV7, 8, and 9. The EV7, or possibly EV8, is expected to be a larger SUV, and Kia has released a teaser image showing how large it will be. That will be very exciting for people who need a car this large but want an EV. The EV9 is the most exciting one to many people, and it's a full concept that Kia unveiled. It's said to be the 2024 EV9, so it could come out sometime next year, but it would be a full-sized SUV with futuristic stylings that would rival the Rivian R1S in size and hopefully function. Next up is the VW ID4. The ID4 is another crossover SUV starting right around $41,230 MSRP. The rear-wheel drive Pro model gets a 280 mile range and each upgraded model from there improves performance but drops range a bit. The highest priced ID4, still under $50,000, comes in all-wheel drive with a 245 mile range. Performance definitely isn't a draw for this car, with the single motor providing a 7.7 second 0 to 60, the dual motor provides a 5.7 second 0 to 60. Not too shabby for most people, but again not a draw for this particular vehicle. Function and price are the draw for this car, and it does provide a lot. It has a decent sized center screen with infotainment options, an instrument cluster display for relevant driving info, and a decent amount of cargo and trunk space. The other big draw here is that you can get the ID4 for as low as $33,260 if you qualify for the potential federal tax credit. If you can get this all-electric SUV with 280 miles of range for that price, it's really a great option, and so far VW has some decent reviews for this car. The main complaints relate to performance and the intuitiveness or speed of the infotainment system. Next up is a vehicle that many don't seem to fully know about yet, the BMW i4. The BMW i4 starts at $55,400, is a compact car competing with the Model 3, and again qualifies for the federal tax credit. It's a full-fledged BMW with two main screens and a very nice interior. The base model i4, known as the i4 eDrive 40, gets a very solid range of 301 miles EPA and a 0-60 to in 5.5 seconds. Then just like all other vehicles, range goes down from there with upgrades. The 19-inch wheel wheels bring it down to 282 miles, and the upgraded performance model M50 gets 270 miles of range or 227 miles of range with the 20 inch wheels. That i4 M50 comes in around $10,000 more than the base model at $65,900. That upgrade lowers the range as mentioned, but it can achieve an impressive 0 to 60 in as little as 3.7 seconds. The great thing about this car again is that it qualifies for the federal incentive and it's available today. There is one available at a dealer right near me, and while stock may be low, it is an option that you can buy. For some, they absolutely love the luxury and feeling of a BMW and this can give you that along with the benefits and savings of a fully electric car with great performance. BMW is also in the process of launching their iX SUV. The iX xDrive 50 provides a range up to 324 miles and is 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds, but starts at $83,200. When compared to a Model Y, that's actually pretty similar in specs with better acceleration and more cargo space, but comes in $20,000 more pre-tax credit. The iX M60 though brings 0 to 60 up to 3.6 seconds and gets a range of 280 miles. Still pretty solid, but that model starts at $105,100. Deliveries of this car started in March of this year and have been ramping up very slowly. Next up is one more car that's available today and feels similar to the i4 in some ways, the Polestar 2. Polestar is an electric vehicle company owned by Volvo that takes a lot of design, manufacturing, and inspiration from Volvo. The Polestar 2 is essentially a compact car but features a hatchback trunk. The long-range front-wheel drive Polestar 2 starts at $45,900, gets an EPA range of 270 miles, and a 0-60 to 60 in 7 seconds. The long-range dual-motor version brings the 0-60 to 60 up to 4.5 seconds, but drops range to 240. 49 miles and adds $4,000 to the price. Inside, the interior feels very premium and features a decent sized vertical center touchscreen. This car is also available today. For myself, I couldn't find one in inventory near me, but they are getting delivered fairly regularly. The draw for this car is specifically for those who like the look and feel of it, or a Volvo vehicle. People who trust the Volvo brand will want to go for this, but other than those draws, it unfortunately doesn't offer much in regards to range. The starting price plus a tax credit can again get this car under $40,000 which is something you can't do with a Model 3 or Y. So it could be a good option for those only needing a 270 mile range in their car. Polestar is also working on the Polestar 3, which would be a true SUV size with an estimated starting price around $75,000. Next up,
up is the Cadillac Lyric. This car isn't shipping yet, but production has officially begun on it. The 2023 Cadillac Lyric is the next electric vehicle coming from GM. It offers a large 33-inch display on the front dash, over 300 miles of range, GM's Super Cruise system, and much more. Of course, it's a Cadillac, so there's a lot of luxury specifically designed for this vehicle, and it's an SUV. It is built on GM's Ultium platform, uses a 100 kilowatt hour battery to achieve its range, and is set to start out at $59,990. This is just a bit cheaper than the Model Y as sold right now. And as it is now, the Lyric will not qualify for a federal tax credit, so that's the price. It's unclear what the other configurations of this car will be, but it should offer a lot and a fairly similar range to the Model Y when it launches. 300 miles is great to see, so hopefully GM can truly scale up this car. They've had quite a difficult time with the Chevy Bolt lately, so again, hopefully the Lyric is a fresh start. Production has begun, so deliveries of this car should begin sometime this year. Last up is an EV coming from a company with quite a bit of experience in this field, the Nissan Aria. Nissan, of course, has experience with the Leaf, but the Aria is an entirely new vehicle. It's another crossover SUV, which seems to be the shape of every EV coming from major brands, and should begin shipping in the fall of this year. Nissan has announced four trim levels, with the cheapest Nissan Aria Venture Plus coming in at $45,950 MSRP. With the tax credit, that could come down to $38,450. That car offers a 300 mile range, front wheel drive, 0 to 60 in 7.2 seconds, and 238 horsepower. From there, they are selling the Evolve Plus, Premier, and Platinum Plus versions of the Aria, with the most expensive trim coming in at $58,950 MSRP. All four trims say available in fall of 2022, however they note that, quote, reservations may exceed initial vehicle production levels. Therefore, Nissan cannot guarantee delivery of a 2023 Aria by any specific date. The Aria features a blend of buttons, simplicity, and screens. There are a number of standard buttons, but it has a simpler design than many of the cars we already talked about today. It also features two screens, one an instrument cluster and the other for infotainment. It has a large amount of cargo space, car play, lots of cargo space for passengers, and more. Overall, it looks to be a solid electric option like many of the vehicles we talked about today, but similarly drops range the more features you add to the car. Dual motor brings the range down to 265 miles for the top spec. A few of those cars are coming soon, and since these companies have taken reservations for them, they may be backed up for some time. But many of the cars are available today, and if you can find one in inventory, ensure a dealer won't upcharge you, and buy one that qualifies for the tax credit, they can be great options. Teslas are more expensive than most of what we talked about today, but they also provide better range, better performance, and the big one, access to their supercharger network. Every other EV will rely on third-party charging when on the road, whereas Teslas have access to the 30,000 plus chargers on their supercharger network that continues to grow every day. I'm very excited to see all of these EVs come to market, and the real question with all of them is how quickly they can become truly available for customers to buy, as opposed to just some early pre-orders. Which car is your favorite from this video though? Leave a comment below to let me know your thoughts. In the meantime, you can check out the latest Tesla news by clicking the video up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.